As you can see, I have tried almost every single Wagyu there is out there, but there is one that I have not tried yet. But that will end today. This is the Olive Wagyu experience and we're gonna give it a try today and let you know how we like it. So let's do it. After purchasing it from an online retailer, this is the unboxing. This is the Olive Wagyu. As you saw it, it came with dry ice and it is 100% frozen. As it states on the label, it is Olive Wagyu A4. Now if you're wondering why it's not A5, they do not have that available. The highest grading you can order is up to A4 and that's what I have today. I know you're gonna ask me for price. After all the discounts were added, it comes out to $176 per pound and each one of these steaks cost $154.50. All of these informative flyers came inside of the box and as some people claim they say that it is the best in the world and I can't wait to give it a try. Now just like all frozen steaks the best way to defrost a steak is to leave it overnight in the refrigerator. You never want to throw it in water or leaving defrosting at room temperature. Even though that works it's not the best way to do it. That will defrost the steak slowly to keep its maximum quality. To truly compare the olive wagyu taste I placed another order. And as I open the box, oh, well this one is Japanese Wagyu A5, but you can see that it is a ribeye. I don't think it will even be fair if I use this one. This is the one that we're going to compare it with, and it is a Japanese Wagyu A5 New York Strip. Now as far as price, I pay $166.60 after the discounts, and each steak costs $145.50. So they are almost the same price, but this one is about $10 less. After defrosting them overnight in the refrigerator, this is what they look like. As you can see, the marbling of the olive wagyu is fantastic. It is a little bit oxidized, but if you've seen my oxidation experiment video, you know that that's okay. And just in case you did not see that video yet, make sure you check it out later on. Now just for comparison, I also defrosted the A5. And this is what a marbling of A5 looks like. To my eyes, it seems like it's more distributed. There's not a huge difference, but there is a difference. If I put them side by side, you can see that there's not that much difference in the marbling. I say they both look great. The only huge difference is that the olive wagyu is oxidized and the A5 is not. Oxidation usually happens when you freeze the steak for a long time. Before opening them, I wanted to make sure that they weigh exactly what I paid for. 14.25 ounces, 0.89 pounds, 403 grams, and 0.404 kilos. So the weight is exactly on point. Then I weighed the Japanese Wagyu A5. 14.25 ounces, 0.892 pounds, 405 grams, and 0.405 kilos. They weighed exactly the same. Now all there's left to do is open these steaks and see what they look like after I pat them dry. And I started with the olive wagyu. Once I pat it dry, this is what it looks like. As I lift the steak from my board, you can see that it's slightly breaking and it also has a few holes on it. Not quite sure if that's normal, I've never seen it before. But it felt very tender. It felt like if I was not careful, it was just basically gonna fall apart in my hand. After handling so many meats, I never experienced anything like this. But I was excited to give it a try. Then I jump right into the Japanese Wagyu A5. Now I can tell you right away there's a big difference just opening one and the other. It's kinda hard to open this one. It's tight and the vacuum does not give. Now this is crazy, it took me about a minute and a half to open this steak. The vacuum seal is super tight and when I did, this is what it looks like.
handling one and the other is a completely different experience this one does not bend it is a solid piece as you can see i can slam it on the board and it will stand up right one way to describe it it's like a brick this thing is just solid for you to better understand i try to handle both of them at the same time as you can see the olive wagyu is just like jello and the a5 i'm holding it with one finger and it does not bend it is solid completely different experience and i did not expect that when i put them side by side this is what they look like But now that you have seen the comparison of both steaks, it is time to season them. To ensure I taste the steak and nothing else, I'm keeping the seasoning very simple. Only salt and freshly ground black pepper. And like always, I do season both sides. But now I say it is enough talking, it is time to cook and taste this wonderful steak. So let's do it! Alright, we have our beautiful steaks here. What do you think, Angel? We have our beautiful Wagyu's. H how do you know it's Wagyu? Hello. <laughs> There's no way you're not able to tell when you see those kind of fat marbling in between. It's just absolutely ridiculous and top-notch quality beef. And my mouth is like... You know, Salivating? Yeah, like, <laughs> I, can't, I can't even talk too much. Alright, so Angel, we have a little experiment today. Yeah, and I guess uh, it's a good experiment. I know, I know you like this Maybe, kind of experiment. Or whatever it is you did worked, <laughs> or it's just a very good experiment. True. So we have steak A and steak B, and I want to know which one you like better, if there's a different taste profile and all that good stuff. You ready? You're not even going to cut it in half? What? You're going, <laughs> you're going for it? Just like yeah. that? All right. Let's do this together. Cheers, Cheers everybody. <laughs> Some people ask me, does it get old? No, it doesn't get old at all. <laughs> mm. That. It's so soft. It's like perfection of an explosion on your mouth. My it goodness. just goes like, damn, you're going for the second one. Easy, dude. <laughs> mm. This is a tasting steak, right? It's not a steak for you to get full. But my nephews here see otherwise. <laughs> I think very differently, as you could tell. Uh, how do you think it tastes? <laughs> it's amazing. It's wagyu, bro. It is incredible. Can you tell what kind of wagyu this is? Let's see how good you are. A5? A5, my brother. <laughs> it's good. You can tell everybody, once you've experienced something like this, it is phenomenal and it is difficult to replicate this kind of taste. Yeah. You agree it, with me? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm not gonna lie. It's yeah. probably one of the best steaks. You it is. Eat. That's why they charge you so much. Okay, now I'm gonna try the second one. You ready for it? I don't know. Uh, can I split it in half or are you- You can split those in half. <laughs> yeah, Angel. All right, let's try the second one. 
I think this one felt a little bit harder folding it. When you I, did? Because I folded this one, just like the last one. Interesting. Well, let me know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Second one. <laughs> Amazing. Just as good. Mmm. <laughs> That is a nice and wonderful steak. What do you think, Angel? Mm, they're, they're the same, though. They're the same? That's not a bad thing. <laughs> At all. Can you not tell any difference? Not at all? It's exactly the same for you? <laughs> yeah. I kind of... Oh, hold on. We, we might have to give it a second try here with a tasting here because this one kind of surprised me a little bit. What are you going to cut, man? Just get a little piece, dude. Not a lot, like a little piece, because we, we, by the way, we have a little party today. I've got a lot of people to try. All right, try that one. Let's try it again, Angel. That's so good. So good. Second one right away. I can't taste any difference whatsoever. If there is a difference, this difference is like right towards the, your palate, towards the end. Just the like aftertaste. A, yeah, there's a little bit more aftertaste on this one here, but... Not that it's a good thing, not that, I don't know. Which one do you like better? <laughs> you don't know? It tastes the same. It tastes the same? It, they, maybe, you know what, maybe I want to say maybe this one's a little bit more fatty. This one is a little bit more fatty? So you have a little more richness. Yeah. It's a very small amount of... The difference is very, very minor, it's not so much. Uh, I was expecting something different, like a different kind of beef profile taste. You? I don't, I don't know why. You don't know why so I would say... Like, <laughs> Okay, so I wasn't this is expecting much. This is Japanese Wagyu A5, straight from Japan. This right. is this is also straight from Japan, but this is the famous olive wagyu. Oh, olive wagyu! Oh, you that's know? what we're doing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> okay, and there's also A5. No, this is one A4. Okay, so yeah, I was right. No, a little bit more fatty on. This yeah, thing. this one is a little bit more fatty in regards to taste profile. I really can't tell any difference. You. If there's a difference, it's very, very minor. It's so slightly. And it slightly. comes right at the end of like, like getting the flavor. Like, like towards the end, there's a little bit of aftertaste of beef. They are both extremely fatty. Maybe you got you got to look for it. Like you really got to like. Come over here. We got a lot of people behind the camera that want to try it. <laughs> Come over here. This is Miss Kayla. You guys all know her already and just girlfriend. All right, hey, Kayla, let's try this. Try that one first. I like how you go for the bigger piece. Ah! <laughs> Try it. You tell me. How does that taste, Kayla? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even lie, right? It's like, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> so try the second one. Now we want to know your opinion. Well, this one's harder to like press into. Yeah? Maybe I'm not going crazy. There's a difference. <laughs> there is a difference. Okay, you tell I mean, us. What do we want to know what is the difference. Tenderness, I did the same. I think the Wagyu A5 is more tender. Okay, how about you say the taste is different for you? Yeah, so this one tastes, it's it's like more... I do think that they're both very similar in taste. Um, the only difference is that this one doesn't have like a bad... You mean this one here? Yeah, the Wagyu A5 doesn't have a bad aftertaste. Whereas this one, it's not bad, it's not a bad aftertaste, but it kind of tastes like old meat. It like an old meat in the end a little bit? Yeah, like after you, like while you're eating it, it's it's fine, it's great. But after that, it's like old. I understand what she's saying because it has like a little aftertaste in the end, right? Yeah, Angel, yeah. it's like a little aftertaste, not crazy big. No, no, no. Yeah, but it has a little aftertaste that is kind of weird. But this is a phenomenal steak. I yeah. said that. What do you think? I think it has the aftertaste, but you have to look for it. You have, you have to, to have an acquired taste for me. <laughs> you have to have a very <laughs> acquired taste. Or you gotta be picky and be looking for something. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're looking like we're judging one side by side, but if you eat this steak by itself, you probably won't be able to tell the aftertaste no, at all. Yeah. But since we're putting one next to the other, yeah. you know, the aftertaste is there. You agree, Kayla? Yeah. Okay, now we have to judge. Angel, pick a winner, A or B. This one's more fatty, I'm going for this one. Fatty is always better, I agree. <laughs> Kayla, which one? Just by the taste, I like A better. A is, I like the A, A, this one as well. This is the A5. I hope you guys get a chance to experience both. See which one you guys like best. I stick with the A5, you? I go A5, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kayla? <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, we'll <laughs> stick with the A5. So these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. And if you ever tried olive oil argue, let me know in the comments below how was your experience. I love to know because we're used to this one. This one is good as well. They're both good, man. I eat them both. It's, hey, it's, not complaining. It's not a problem. <laughs> I have no issue with either one. I'm I will, sure you do. I will completely devour all of this. I know. I if actually, I had a chance, we have a. And I think I think Gua needs to stop. We have a what few more to people do. today <laughs> trying. And we will see you guys on the next one, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, my friend.